All right, that's Hank's mom. That's Bruce. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about... Um, Why do I wake up with a headache every day here? The air is so dry. All right, we're going to be discussing uh, Denver's dry climate today. Um, and first, let me apologize because everybody on this video is going to have a lot of congestion and... Uh, there's a lot of there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of colds going around right now, so sound sound kind of weird. Apologize for that, clearing my throat too much. Um, what's that, Bruce? Yeah, <laughs> Bruce is, as as you can see, Bruce is feeling pretty bad as well. You can tell by his face he's got a little congestion. He's a little concerned about it because it hasn't gone away in about eight nine days. And, um, oh, um, yeah, Hank, H Hank's mom is, 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 has been wonderful. She's been taking care of us. Um, answer your goddamn phone! I'll tell you what, living with a roommate. Hello, father. He has, like, fathers calling. Hello, mother. Anyways. Uh, Denver climate is very dry, and uh, the first thing you need to do when you move to Denver is get lots of lotion. Uh, you'll notice that even on our kitchen counter right there, there's lotion. I don't know if you can see it. Um, coconut oil works well. Uh, coconut oil is great. It's like you can get a giant tub of it for five bucks, and uh, probably won't go into the application of that. But um, <clears throat> I think Jesse puts coconut oil in his nose. I don't do that. I think that's, I think that's a little much. That's a little weird. Um, uh, Bruce puts it in his mustache. And uh, if, you, if, you, if you notice that amazing hair, that is coconut oil. That's what that is. That's how that got there. Climate in Denver. It's a son of a bitch, man. Like, your skin, unhappy. Um, you, you bleed from your nose constantly. It's like a constant, constant bloody drip from your nose. It's, it's uh, terrifying, actually. You just walk around and you see just people with blood coming out of their nose, and it's just awful. And you want to help them, but, you know, like a drowning man, a drowning man cannot help another drowning man. And so... You know, you just you just get a bunch of um, Elsa tissues. They have a cooling property. I definitely recommend these because they are um, from Frozen, and they they just have like a really nice a nice cooling nice cooling property to them. Um, you don't want to exercise at all when you're in Denver. It, it's very dangerous. Um, everyone here acts like they work out, but um, really it's just like the dry, the dry air makes you lose a lot of weight and uh, kind of tones up your muscles, which that, that's really nice. But as far as actually doing things, you don't want to do anything. It's, it's strenuous on your body and mind. Uh, your lungs just want to collapse. Um, so whatever you do, if you come to Denver, um, and especially if you go up in the mountains, just plan to lay down the whole time. Just don't even, I wouldn't risk it. Um, lay down, get as vertical as possible, um, but there's a way to induce even more muscle relaxation with, with medication. Um, if, you, if you have some way to keep like a, like a lotion holster on, um, even like a double holster, just so that you can quickly go to either side uh, for emergency dry skin applications, I would recommend that. Um, and... Uh, Keep, a, keep emergency medical uh, information on you at all times. Um, people have been known to uh, quickly, quickly, quickly decompose immediately into like a dusty pile of, of, of just nothingness. So um, anyway, tragic stuff here in Denver. Don't move here. Don't come here. Um, if you do make that mistake, don't do anything else once you're here. Just lay down. All right. I hope that helps. See you guys.